We got the retro steel cage! What's up guys, it's Phenomenal AJ Styles and you're watching Red Out Live. What is going on guys, Red Out Live back with another video today. We are going to be reviewing and unboxing the WWE Legends Mattel Classic Cage Playset. Comes with the ring, comes with the classic blue steel cage. This is a Target exclusive, so if you guys are interested in picking it up, it is available at your local Target store. Currently, it is discounted. I got this for $34.99 US dollars. We're going to be unboxing it and reviewing it in this video. I'm very excited to do so. I haven't done a playset review in a while. We're going to take a look at the packaging first. Right at the top, it does say classic cage playset, WWE Legends logo. It says climb the cage to victory. You can see a couple figures on the box that are not not included with it, but I do have these. Got the Ultimate Edition Andre Hogan, got a Bret Hart, and a Mr. Perfect. There's a look at the ring in the cage in the bottom left when it's fully built. It comes unassembled, obviously, so there is going to be some assembly, and that's why I'm here. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to put this together on camera. You already know. Back, you can see the steel cage with the ring, all the figures inside of it. Oh, and look at this. Collide with rivals in epic grudge matches. Now that is intense. Here we go, guys. Let's get this open on camera and see what it's all about. Jumping into the unboxing. Once again, we're unboxing this on the camera. As you can see on the back, there is like this nice little carve out line. It's like a cutout. That's how Mattel wants you to open it. That's how. That's not how I'm going to open it. Only reason being is because I want to save this box. I want to keep this box in good condition. And I'm a really big fan of uh, Mattel WWE box. Box art. I just feel like this looks so good in the background of like wrestling figures, like loose figures. It just looks so freaking good. So I'm going to be keeping this in the box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a knife on the side here and I'm going to break the seals of the glue going all the way down just like this. And hopefully it saves the box a little bit. And just like that. Do that at your own risk. It is kind of dangerous. Sort of like whipping a knife around. And look at that. See? Look at how safe that was. And the box is 100% good. Because like I said, I just like keeping like box art, bro. And this this uh, pack is really good for that. So here is a look at... Oh, okay. We got the ring base. I haven't gotten one of these in a while. Holy. Got the blue apron, the white ring mat. Looks like there's going to be a sticker that goes right there. That's pretty cool. Oh, no way. And like literally the cage is just right there. You got an instruction manual. You got the cage. Four pieces. There's the door. It's freaking sick, dude. Oh, there's more. Oh, yeah, no way. You got the uh, steel posts. Here's the steel posts, the ring ropes. Looks like some connectors for the steel cage. Ah, there it is. There's the center sticker. It looks like we got classic WWE uh, turnbuckle stickers as well. Those look pretty cool. Excited to put those on. We're going to show you how to do all of it in this video. And look at my pristine box. Looks freaking fantastic. That's going to be some awesome background art for my loose figures uh, in my display. I cannot wait to use that. But yeah, here's all the pieces that you get. This is everything that you get for $34 if you guys decide to pick it up now. Once again, this video isn't sponsored at all. I just thought this was a really cool playset, so I wanted to review it here on the channel. But uh, we are going to do it right now. We're going to build it. We're going to put it together, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. Do we need these instructions? Absolutely not. I've done this a bajillion friggin' times. Okay, where do we start? I'm just kidding. I know exactly where we start. We're going to start by opening up this bag right here, and how about we create the ring first? We're going to make the ring. Here's everything you get, all those different pieces. These are pretty cool. So how these work, this is what holds the cage together. Like, you'll snap the cage in these two little sides, and then this side goes on the steel post, which is very cool. I'll show you guys how those work here once again are the stickers which are really nice quality i like those a lot uh, but steel posts really easy how this works there's always going to be one steel post that actually has the ropes engraved on the turnbuckles so we're going to save that one for last to start off with the steel posts obviously you want the turnbuckles facing towards the center of the ring so you're going to put them over here and then you're going to do one little quick boom just like that you snap them down and they're in you jump to the next side right like this just like a hammer Boom, you do that, and then we got three. Boom, and then before we put this one on, you're not gonna wanna put this one on here yet, otherwise it's gonna be kind of a pain in the neck to untie the ropes. You're gonna wanna untie the ropes first, and this is super easy. So you're gonna come up to the ropes, you're gonna look for the red, blue, and white, okay? 
and then, or just red, white, and blue, you're going to grab all three. You're going to get your fingers in there. It might be a little tough at first. Once you get your fingers in there, you see that? You're going to wrap it around the turnbuckle, and then it's going to come apart all safe and sound. Look at that. Look at that. So you don't have to worry about getting these ropes tangled, mixed up, or anything like that. They are perfectly undone just with that. Once again, it is going to be kind of hard to get your finger in there. Um, but once you do, it'll be really helpful for future stuff. And then we're going to come up here. We're going to do the same thing. Snap it down. And then we're going to go to the, each side of the ring. We're going to put the ropes in the turnbuckles just like this, just like so, they sort of snap in. And these ropes do get pretty tight, and over time, these ropes will get loose. From experience, I have some older uh, Mattel basic rings like this, and the ropes, they do start off really tight. Like, these are some tight ropes, look at that. I'm already having like some nice, tight feel to these ropes, but over time, they will get loose, just to let you guys know. But it does take a while, like, give it like six years, like, you got a while before they get super Super duper loose so we got the blue one here at the bottom and then that basically finishes off our ring minus the stickers I kind of wish it came with an apron sticker I think that would have been pretty cool uh, no apron sticker unfortunately we're gonna put my Lego sticker applying skills to the test by applying this WWE logo in the center of the ring just like that there's no going back we pulled it off there it is, and you're, there is a little implant in the center of the ring. So that's obviously where the sticker goes. You're going to want to put it right there. Take your time with this. So I'm going to do that right now, and I'm going to be quiet for one sec because I'm going to take my time with this. And we, I want it perfect. I want it literally perfect. No air bubbles, please. No air bubbles. Yes. Let's freaking go we nailed it we absolutely nailed it times two look at that look at that come on that logo is dead center we got the w even you don't want your w on a crooked angle so make sure you even it out uh and it doesn't really matter which way it's facing because each side has no ring apron so it doesn't even matter and then as you guys would expect the turnbuckle stickers they go on the turnbuckles so i'm not gonna really well i'll show you guys one they just come off of there just like that and these if i remember right the, the old wwe logo stickers that used to go on the turnbuckles they would also peel off they used to peel Peel off a bunch on my classic ring so it might be kind of pointless to put these on but they do look pretty cool and I want to do it for the video so yeah it's pretty basic you just put them on there it looks pretty nice it really cleans it up in the corner so we're gonna do that on every other steel post and I'm gonna get back to you guys here hey we got one side 100% complete what do you guys think the center one I gotta admit it is a little tilted but it's a turn buckle hey I still I, I think it looks pretty solid we got the stickers on just like that it is complete I will get up close in a bit here so stay tuned as you can see look at that the sticker sheet is hundred percent empty gotta love that we're gonna jump into the steel cage portion of the build so we're gonna put the ring aside we're gonna stand it up like that in the background and we are gonna bring the blue steel cage walls in here look at these dude these look so awesome man I have the authentic scale ring Toys R Us exclusive blue steel cage all the walls are the same besides the door wall which is pretty nice the door opens pretty flush I'll show that when we get to it and then once again I kind of mentioned these already but we do have the little steel cage steel post connectors that's what I'm gonna call them there's eight of them two for each steel post which is pretty awesome for no particular reason we are gonna start off with the door wall right here you're gonna come up on the side and these little parts you're gonna want to point them in Okay, point them in because that's where the steel post is going to be. So point them in and then you get the other one, point it in. And there is one complete. Look at that. You got the steel post connectors right next to the door. They fit amazing. You don't want them falling off. You want to make sure they snap in. You need to hear a snap. All right, we're going to do this side right here, pointing in, guys. Remember, pointing in. So then it goes on your steel post all flush and good. Here is one wall complete. Look at that. We're going to get another wall here. It doesn't really matter what wall you use from here because they're all the same. And then once you want to connect the walls, you're going to go to the top of the wall here and you are going to push down just like this. It connects in there and it's a nice like it's a nice swivel feature, which is pretty nice. So if you did want to open it up, you could. And then you're, we're going to jump to our steel uh, post load connectors. We're going to push those in because that is basically going to connect our wall. So now we can stand it up at a right angle. Look at that. 
We got a acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle. How crazy is that? There's a little math class for you guys. Uh, we're gonna add more of these connectors here on the side, just like that. Boom, here's another wall coming in hot. We're gonna connect the top first. I don't know why I'm connecting the top first. You guys could do the steel post connectors first, but I do the top first and then it kind of makes it easy for me to just lock in the rest of the cage. So there are three walls. And before we put the fourth wall on, I wanna put the rest of these on. So we're gonna come to the corner. We're gonna push these in, make sure we hear those snaps, make sure they're in good. And here's the last wall. This could be hard. Uh, so we're gonna start with the tops. Uh, scratch what I said. Start with the tops, guys. Don't start with the bottoms. I feel like starting with the top will make it easier. So we got the top connected. Here are the bottoms. This is really easy to put together, guys. Literally, if you guys are worried about the build part of it, I would not be. This is very easy. I didn't even open the freaking instruction manual. I check this out. Ready? Check this out. Ah, we're not going to tear it. But, dude, we don't need the instruction manual. Got it 100% complete. How cool is that? You could spin it if you wanted to. Uh, we are going to... From there, it's very easy. You get your ring and you get your blue retro style steel cage. You line it up, all right? So you line it up with the steel posts on the side. And it might take a little, because this is my first time putting it on, so you might need to like wear in those steel post corners. We're gonna give it a little smack. We're gonna give it a little smack, make sure she's on. And make sure all the connectors are good. Yeah, yeah, he's on. She is on. How cool is that? We got the blue steel cage, 100% complete. Wow, that is so much more compact than I thought. That is freaking sick, dude. What do you guys think? That is the build portion of the video. Let's have a little fun now. You guys won't believe what I just found. Yeah, you see that SummerSlam apron? Man, does it bring me back. We got my current style Mattel steel cage. Check this out. I got it standing right next to our new retro style Target exclusive cage. You guys can see the differences here. Uh, these look really cool next to each other. This is the, one of the main reasons why I got it because I have the current cage. I wanted to get the classic style cage. I think these look awesome next to each other. I want to show you guys the current one, which is technically the older of the two. The door's pretty cool. Look at the ropes. This is what I was talking about with the ropes. See how droopy they, they all eventually get. But I've had this ring for over 10 years. So this one, yeah, it, it's seen some miles. The, some of these stickers on the steel posts are missing. And I did used to use this for play as well. One feature that I do wish that this somehow had was the breakaway doors. I think the breakaway doors were so such a big part about making this steel cage so cool. I know they've never actually broken the doors on this cage in real life, but I still feel like it would have been a really cool play feature to have like breakaway doors. I mean, you do have the breakaway door. You could like slam a figure through the door, but I feel like the breakaway wall would have been awesome. But uh, yeah, those are those two next to each other. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, let me know which one you guys like better down in the comments and let's get a closer look at our steel cage. Here's a look at our blue steel cage. I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on what the cage is all about. There you can see the solid blue blue apron with no sticker. I would love to have seen an extra long sticker on this blue apron. I think it really, I think it really would have tied it together and made it really clean. Uh, overall, I think the ring is freaking awesome. The turnbuckles look really cool with the classic WWE style of logo. I like the little stud on the top turnbuckle, making it so you could do a figure off the top rope. So just for example, I know he's not a classic superstar, but we got Kevin Owens on the top rope. And look, I'm not even touching him. And if I move the cage, nah, he ain't falling because he's on one of those studs on the top turnbuckle. So you could do some pretty wicked WWE action figure setups with that of him jumping off the top. Oh, and landing in the center of the ring. Speaking of the center of the ring, look at that. We got the WWE uh, retro style logo sitting perfectly in the center of the ring. I, there are a couple air bubbles after all, if you guys see it in the glare there. But I love the look of that classic logo in the center. It makes it look classic. It reminds me of a retro style of uh, retro's ring. Yes, this ring is fully spring loaded. So you are you getting that spring feature. So when you drop a figure on it, it will give you a nice effect like the ring is real, which is awesome. Red, white, and blue ropes, super duper tight, which look awesome. Steel cage, very sturdy cage. If you guys are worried about this cage falling apart, that it will not happen. This thing is very sturdy. Here's the door. You could fit a bunch of superstars in there. Dre the Giant can even fit through this door and enter the freaking ring. We got Andre the Giant in the ring, climbing the cage. I like how you get the feet. You can get the feet in there, so you could actually like chill on top of the cage if you want. Like you could get some 
awesome figure photography with this freaking cage. I'm very excited to do that. Stay tuned to my Instagram page. I'm going to be posting some really cool stuff on this cage. I'm uh, surprised it took me this long to get this cage. This cage is freaking cool. You guys let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section down below. Andre the Giant's already in the steel cage, and here comes Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan's climbing the top. Andre's just standing there. What's he going to do? Oh, my God. Atomic leg drop to a standing Andre the Giant. Oh, no, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Oh, into the steel post. But Andre miraculously back to his feet. Oh, into the steel cage. The steel cage going to be used as a big, oh, God. Big factor in this match as Hulk Hogan's back crushes to that steel. Flesh meeting steel. Steel wins every time when a body drop by Andre. Where's Andre? Oh my god, Andre's on the, he's on the middle rope. Hulk Hogan, get out of the way. Hulk Hogan, you're not gonna want this. No! Oh my god, Hogan got out of the way. And Hogan off the ropes. Leg drop! And Hulk Hogan, what's he doing? Oh, he kicks open the door. What on earth? And the referee's gonna close it. The referee's closing the door, but Andre the Giant, oh, Andre's head through the door. Oh my God, but Andre's trying to escape. He could win, he could win. No, that's not happening. Oh, oh, God, off the ropes. And oh, go get collapsed to the top of the cage. No, 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 atomic leg drop. And oh, go get climbed to the top of the cage. He's gonna escape, he's gonna escape. He's gonna, oh wait, no, Andre the Giant. No, Andre the Giant, oh my God. No, don't do this. Don't do this! Suplex! Oh! How is this match going to end? This match is not over. Andre the Giant back to his feet. He's got Hulk Hogan choke slam position. Choke slam! Oh, but Hulk Hogan grabbed the top of the cage. He grabbed the top of the cage. There goes his headband. Hulk Hogan escaping. But he meets him at the door. He meets him at the door. Andre's got him. Oh my god, but he, he's pulling Andre out. No, no, no. Oh, wait, who hit first? Oh my god. Who hit first? Oh, they're saying it was Hogan. It was Hogan. But this brawl continues. Oh, God. Oh. And Andre's not having it. Here we go. Big boot by Andre the Giant. And now picking him up. Picking him up. Oh. Into the cage. How does he climb that fast? He's at the Andre top the of the giant. cage. Oh, wait. He just hovers up there. Oh, my God. Hulk Hogan. No. No. Oh, my God. Back in the cage. And Hulk Hogan's already won this match. I'm a real American. Fight for the rights of every man. I'm a real American. Fight for what's right. Fight for your life. Oh my god, don't